Hey everybody! Okay, so, um, I realized when I did my video on my Five Nights at Freddy's Pop Dolls, I didn't take them out of the box, so you can really see them. So that's what I'm going to do today, is show you them out of the box, and just blab a little about my Five Nights at Freddy's book that I finished today. I'm probably going to read it again, because it was that good. Okay. I don't think... Okay. I'm going to start off with Bonnie. The attention to details on these is incredible. Whoa. Thingy on the back of his head. It's probably some makeup. I'll get that later. And then made it, they made it look like he has little joints in his knees. Okay, and then here's Chica. She looks kind of creepy. And you can't really tell, but I like on this how they painted part of it silver, so it looks like she has little bolts in her, holding her joints together. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, my hand's shaking. So there's Chica. She has a little bit of problem standing up because of her feet. But I manage it. She's just a little wobbly. Okay, here's Freddy. Again, lots of detail. Okay, and then this one is my favorite. Here's Foxy. And I love all the detail they put into him. Like they got all the rips in his suit and his pants. And his missing hand. And then a little hook. Which, if you compare him to my foxy plushie, the little foxy plushie doesn't have a hook. Or tires in him. He just looks normal. But then the pop doll is a little worse for wear. <laughs> for lack of a better term. And it's all the way around, except on his head. But I am amazed how much detail Funko put into this. Especially Foxy. Like, all of them, they put a lot of detail in, but this one just astounds me. And he stands up pretty easily. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to go now. I got a call from, whoop, I got a call from Barnes & Noble today that my DVD I've been waiting for is finally there. So I'll go over and get it sometime in the next week and then do a video on that. And then I'll finally have all my Christmas presents. Okay, love y'all. Bye.